Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So, because we have gotten requests in the Discord, let's go ahead and do something slightly ridiculous. We are going to be terraforming a Tesla Roadster today, which I don't know quite how this is going to work, but I'm going to assume it's possible, uh, because in this game, uh, anything's possible if you throw things at each other hard enough. So here's our Tesla Roadster looking pretty good. Maybe we can get a better angle on it so that we can see. Let's see. There we go. Okay, is that a good angle? Can we see it now? Uh, let's turn it a little bit this way. A little bit this way. What? Okay, the, the, the lighting isn't very good. Uh, we can fix that with a star later. But first, we need to get this to planetary size, and it's kind of cheating if I use, like, a planet, because I'm going to assume that the things I throw at it has to be smaller than itself, or the same size, so that it stays as a Tesla Roadster. So we are going to have a Tesla Roadster eat a whole lot of little Tesla Roadsters, and now we're getting a Mega Tesla Roadster <laughs> with the strength of about 20, 30, 40, 50 ridiculous amounts of Tesla Roadsters. Now this thing is getting pretty darn heavy. It's the mothership. <laughs> Look at it go. Elon Musk would be very proud. So we're going to continue to let it grow. And now this is... Oh great, 200,000 kilograms. So that's like 100 tons. Or we're getting there. Uh, New Horizons is smaller than it. Uh, now, probably a lot of things are smaller. It's actually larger than the third stage of the Saturn V. <laughs> uh, Great Pyramid of Giza is still going to be a bit bigger. Yeah, we've got a ways to go. That's fine, though. Come over here. You're going to eat uh, Saturn V. Oh, shoot. I lost you again. How do I keep losing you? Come on. Don't run away. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and let it eat some spacecraft. SpaceX is helping out now. Whoosh. And now its growth is accelerating. I'm curious as to what happens when it hits the point where the bodies will normally turn into a sphere. I would find it super funny if it just compressed all the vertices and became a sphere. That would be hilarious. That'd be absolutely uh, hilarious, but I'm not sure if it'll actually do that. But this is growing very quickly. Very, very quickly. Uh, yeah, at this size, I'd like to say it's no longer a car. Now it's a... Uh, actually, let's compare it to a minor object. Uh, asteroid. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I was inside of it. I accidentally killed our Tesla Roadster. Well, that's sad. It's okay. We can we can have uh, Tesla make us a new one. We'll just inflate the mass artificially until it's high enough to eat asteroids. So, so we're just skipping. Oh my! Holy! What have I done? I think I just made it, yeah, I just made it the size of the entire universe, probably bigger. Uh, 2.6e plus 10 Milky Ways. No. Uh, no. Uh. Whoosh! <laughs> okay, that was beautiful. That was absolutely great. There we go. Now we've got a pretty large Tesla ro- oh, where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. What is happening? Oh, the mass is still... The mass is still 4,650 Milky Ways. <laughs> Whoops. Let's bring it down to a tenth of the moon. Oh my god, you ran away again. What the heck? Ah, jeez. So it would appear that if we have a Tesla Roadster, it's not actually going to compress down to a sphere. 
So we have to figure out how we're gonna do this, and what we'll do is we will get, uh, we will get the Tesla Roadster up to zero, zero point four nine Earth. There we go. There we go. So that's about very, very, very uh, close to half. And then, oh, because of its density, it's still so much larger than Earth. Okay, well, that's an issue. That is an issue. I just want to very quickly see what happens if we collide this into Earth. It, it just ate Earth. Okay. Elon, your, your company is becoming too powerful. That's fine, though. I have a plan. We are going to artificially... Oh, we can't do Earth. That would be cheating. We'll use a random rocky planet, and we're going to have to absorb the power of the Tesla Roadster. And how we'll do that is we will explode it. Oof. Oh, boy. Okay, that... There we go. So we just uh, exploded the Tesla Roadster, but as you can see, a lot of the bits from the Tesla Roadster have collided with this planet, so technically, this is at least like 50% Tesla Roadster now. Beautiful. So now we have our planet, and it's actually, huh, I wonder if they had a water bottle in the uh, cup holder, because it's got water. That's convenient for what we're doing. Okay, great. So let's let things cool down. Oh, a lot of water. Too much water. Okay. Let's lower the amount of water a little bit. Just enough that we've got some nice defined continents. There we go. Look at that. We've got we've got the Tesla Roadster planet. It's looking pretty good. Um Temperature things are looking pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this temporarily and we're just gonna Tesla Road. Oh, I spelled it wrong Whoops, ha Tesla Road star. That's almost a meme. If it was a star that would have been good uh, So now we're going to go ahead and you know, what? why don't I just make an entire solar system out of Tesla Roadsters? Yeah, we'll make uh, we'll do the same thing with the sun. Hey, this one will be the Tesla Road Star. Oh, I messed it up. There we go. And let's see if I can make this work. What I'm going to have to do is the same thing. We want a lot of it to be made out of Tesla Roadster. This may cause a supernova because of how heavy the elements are uh, on the Tesla Roadster. I'm not sure it'll go through nuclear fusion very pretty uh, but what we'll do is we will make it half the mass of the Sun okay yeah this is uh this is slightly ridiculous I'm gonna be honest I, I do see the slight ridiculousness of this at this point in time but now what we're going to do is we're going to explode it so, boo! Oh, gee. <laughs> okay. Oh man, look at that! The sun is absorbing all of the Tesla Roadsterness, and it is gaining a bit. Of Holy moly! It just caused the entire sun to collapse and then reform. Oh, geez, that's a lot of mass you threw out there, sun. Holy moly. Okay, that was pretty great. Gonna be honest. Unexpected. Should have expected the unexpected. We've got a lot of little bits floating around the sun. That's fine. Uh, so now we've got the Tesla Roadster certified. Made out of at least like 50% Tesla Roadster. And now we're just going to have to find the habitable zone around it. It's gonna be right here. Very nice. And now we're going to add the planet we made before my objects. Tesla Road Star. Okay. Wait, no, that's that's this should be just called Tesla Roadster normally. Okay, there we go. 
There we are, and now this planet is going to cool down a little bit, and hopefully it'll stay at a temperature that's reasonable. Surface temperature is dropping, dropping. Ooh, it's negative. That means we need an atmosphere. Where is the atmosphere stuff at? First off, magnetosphere we should have on... Um, There you go. We're protected now. We've got we've got the best magnetic shield of all time. There we go. Very nice. So our similarity is at 78% and life likelihood is at 0%. That's 0% because it has no atmosphere. So what we're going to do is we're going to set its atmospheric pressure to one atmosphere so we won't be crushing anything. Uh, and let's see what this does to our temperature. It's rising. There we go. We have some water. It's heating up way too quickly. So what we should do is... I'm dropping that up. I don't want to hope that we will bleed off the temperature in the future. Is it going to go back down? No, okay, so we will turn up the albedo so that we deflect a lot of sun. We'll put it up to like 0 0.9, and I think that'll be enough to keep it cool enough. It's all about balance now. We have to get it very balanced. Oh, 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 a little bit too far. So 0 0.84, 0 0.8. Okay, we may have it at 0 0.76. Okay, very close. Very close to where we want it. Uh, we're going to just drop it a tiny bit more. Yeah, that's that's definitely livable. Um, that's the average temperature, so... One cent. Yeah. About 60 degrees Fahrenheit. That's definitely livable. Hey, look! It's a Tesla Roadster! And it's a Tesla Roadstar! Oh, way down there. And they're working together so well. Isn't that beautiful? Let's check the life likelihood. Uh, what is our life likelihood at? 26.6%. Looking good. I'm pretty sure it's because of the mass. Oh, yeah. Let's increase your mass a little bit, friend. Uh-oh. That, that's causing it to freeze. Uh, okay, we're going to have to rebalance the temperature again, aren't we? Oh, yeah. It's getting really cold now. That's because we don't have it at one atmosphere anymore. We gotta pump up the amount of atmosphere we have, and that's still not gonna be enough. But that's fine. All we have to do is drop the albedo just a little bit further. Zero point six, maybe. Nope, lower. Zero point four, not. Oh, okay. It's a little bit warm. But I can live with that. That were, Look at the nice uh, cloud systems we got there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm liking it. Do we actually have a polar ice cap there? I don't think that's in this game yet. <laughs> kind of looks like it there, though. Okay, looking good. We don't have much land, but you know what? Uh, good enough for me. Looking good. I think that's going to be it, guys. We've done it. I'm just going to save this. It looks very nice. Oh, wait, we forgot something. We did forget something. I'm going to make a little bit more land for one reason. So that we can see what it would look like with li uh, life likelihood is at about 30%, but it's so similar to Earth. I'm not going to bother trying for a little bit more. Um, we're going to turn high altitude to dark green. 
And we're going to turn mid to a lighter green. There we go. Look at that. We've got we've got life. That actually doesn't look too good. Or am I going to have to drop the water even further? That's fine. Let's let's make this right. It's got to look perfect. All right, so that's looking good. That's a little bit too neon for my taste. Uh, that right there looks more lifelike. Maybe a little bit too dark. I'm no artist. But I think that looks much better. And then we'll get some sort of like beach sand color here. Trying my best. There we go. And we will just go to composition and drop this just a little bit further come on nope nope <laughs> the entire area is too high up i mean you can see a little bit the color changing i think it looked best though when we just had it uh oh that looks pretty good right there you know i think i'm gonna keep that well guys thank you all for watching leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye! Why do I do this?